Hi, my name is Josh Wyack. Thanks for joining us today for a quick little course vlog of Desert Canyon Golf Course. I'm going to start off here on hole number four. Relatively straight par four with a bit of a hill on the right side. Just need to make sure you get up on that hill. Then we come up to one of everybody's favorite sites on the course, the drink cart. Get some of that liquid uh, energy and strength in you. You know, help the golf game. And then we're going to skip ahead a little bit here. We're going to go under the tunnel here, which is a saguaro above us, over to hole number six. Now when you come out of the tunnel, you want to stop and be careful because the tee box is off to your right, and you don't want to eat a bad drive as you're coming out. Just make sure to be careful. And you know, we just gotta come around to make a loop back to the tee box. <laughs> and that house has a pretty funny sign on it there. Uh, no public urination. Seems like they might have a problem with that or something. Or maybe they just like the jokes. So this hole is relatively straightforward. It's a nice longer par four, slight dog leg right. So you just wanna, you know, if you can put it out nice and straight or aim for the center of the fairway with a slight fade, you'll be sitting in a nice position. And we get to see some of those wonderful views around here in Fountain Hills. Now we're coming up to uh, the number six green here. So we're on in two. Just gonna make sure to sink this putt here for a birdie. But could have helped myself a little bit more in getting it closer, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So we just gotta roll with it, try to make a good putt. Now looking back in hindsight, definitely should have uh, read the putts a little bit more than just walking up and hitting it, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. As we can see, had a decent line, but definitely not enough power to get there. I left myself about a foot and a half short. Let's sink it for par. Then we're going to skip forward here a little bit to hole number nine. Comes uphill right back towards the clubhouse, and you do have those great mountain views looking out to the east. Now we're going to continue on after hole nine here. Go back to hole number one. As you can see, the clubhouse right there on the left, as well as the uh, putting practice facility here on the left. I'm going to go up to the tee boxes up here. Uh, number one is a pretty fun hole. It's a uh, par four, not too long, but it is a dog leg left with uh, a slight dog leg left with water all along the left side there. So you want to be careful not to go too long on the right side, otherwise you'll be in the desert. And you want to be careful not to be too left, otherwise you'll be uh, swimming for your ball. And here we're continuing on up to the fairway of uh, hole number one. As you can see, it does have a bit of a ramp to help slow that ball if you do push it off to the right. Nothing really to help you from going too far left with that water there. So this is one of the ones where you want an accurate drive, not necessarily the longest drive. But we did all right here. Our ball is just off to the left there, sitting nice and pretty in the middle of the fairway. Then we're going to skip forward here to hole number two. A decent length, par three, up the hill. Now the trick to this hole is you want to keep it right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And hit that bell icon to get notified of all our future videos. Thanks.